Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Prop House. On today's episode, we're going to be building an ODST helmet from Halo. The designs for this helmet were created by Caleb I on Thingiverse. Links to where you can find this helmet as well as some of his other designs will be in the description below. For this build, the primary components were all 3D printed using PLA plastic. And with that out of the way, let's orbital drop right into this build. Hmm. So how do you think we should start off this episode of Prop House? Oh, I know. How about with some sand? Alright, so now that the sanding portion is finished, we can move on to the next step, which is going to be gluing the pieces together. We're just going to simply do this by applying some super glue in between all of the pieces and then pressing and holding them together quite firmly on the table. We put down some paper so that the pieces will not stick to the table. If the pieces do stick to the paper, it shouldn't be too difficult to remove it. Either just simply sand it off or peel off the paper. With the filler primer applied, the next step is to sand it again. This way we can get the piece to a nice smooth finish. Now that we're done sanding the primer, the next step is going to be to fill in some of the gaps left between the pieces where they were glued together. For this, we're going to be using some Bondo glazing putty. Links to where you can find this will be in the description below. We're now going to take the helmet outside and apply the spot putty through all the gaps of the piece. With the glazing and spot putty applied, the next step is to sand it back down to a smooth finish. Now that the sanding, priming, and filling are all complete, we can move on to the painting phase. To start off painting, we'll be spraying the entire helmet with a black base coat. Now that the black base coat is applied, the next step is going to be applying the other colors. But before we can do that, we need to tape off some of the black areas, as we do not want to be spray painting over them again with new colors. The main areas that we're going to tape off are right around the visor section, as well as part of the back. With the tape applied, the next step is to grab an X-Acto knife and cut out all the parts that we want covered. With the tape applied and cut, we can now move on to the next painting phase. For the primary helmet color, we're going to be painting it a dark gray. While spray painting, we want to make sure that we're painting all parts of the piece and that we're applying even coats. With the primary gray color applied, the next step is to apply the stripe. For our stripe, we're going to be using a bright red. But before we can do that, we need to first tape off the area where we're going to apply the stripe. Now that the stripe area has been taped off, the next thing we're going to do is cover the rest of the helmet in plastic. This is going to prevent us from spraying the other parts of the helmet red. With everything covered up, we're going to take this back outside and give it a quick spray with the red spray paint. With spray painting complete, we'll now take off all the tape and plastic and see how the helmet's looking. Finally, to make the helmet look more battle-worn, we're going to try to add some finer details and weathering. Now 
Now we're going to try something new, which is going to be vacuum forming. We're going to use this in order to create the visor section of the helmet. Before we can begin though, we need to prepare the plastic sheet that we're going to vacuum form. First, we have to remove the protective film. Be sure to remove the film on both sides of the plastic sheet. With the film removed, the next step is going to be to attach it to this frame. In order to do that, we're just going to use some of these clips here. We're going to use the four big red clips for all the four corners, and then we'll attach the smaller black clips around the middle to properly secure it to the frame. With the clips properly secured, the next step is to prepare the vacuum forming platform. This platform was constructed using basic materials purchased from a local hardware store. A link to where you can find a tutorial on how to build this will be in the description below. In order to vacuum form, we need a mold. For our mold, we're going to be using this 3D printed version of the Halo ODST helmet visor. Links to where you can find this will be in the description below. With everything in place and secure, the final step is going to be to heat the plastic sheet. For this, we're just going to be using a standard oven. Insert the sheet into the oven and preheat it to about 200 degrees. Once the sheet has reached the proper temperature, it will begin to melt a little bit. Quickly remove it and place it onto the platform with the vacuum on. Finally, to add some finishing touches, we're going to try to create a fake bullet hit. In order to do this, we are going to take a pair of pliers and heat them up on the ends. With the pliers hot enough, we'll then press them into the top of the helmet in order to create the bullet indentation. Finally, we'll paint the indentation with some silver paint, and voila, we have a bullet hit.